this stage of the season looking like for you guys? Are you guys looking forward to next season, trying to build implement some stuff now, or, or what are the next few games like for you guys? Uh, we got one left, so there's not a few. There's one. Um, obviously, we've been out of the playoff race for a little while, and the way that the group has played and responded to the challenges that have been in front of us have, has been really positive. Um, every time we take a lump, we bounce back really well. Um, we got beat by New Zealand the other night. We, I thought we played a good game of basketball tonight and played with the right intent and the, and the way that we want to play. So yeah, there's definitely an aspect of how do we want to, how do we want this group to look next year and starting to build our identity for, for what the Brisbane Bullets and NBL 24 is going to look like, uh, particularly on the defensive end of the floor. And, you know, we, we keep working towards that. We've got a full week of practice next week and we get to play New Zealand again next Saturday night. And there's no let up from the coaching staff. We keep preparing the same way. We keep reviewing the same way. We keep challenging the guys to, to do the right things and they keep responding very, very positively. Um, so a, a really pleasing group to coach. Um, and you know, looking forward to next year. Um, a lot of guys want to want to be with the club. Um, so we, we keep building and what do we look like in NBL 24? Um, I know you always say, you know, this isn't a squad based on individuals. This is a, this is a team effort. Um, but tonight, Aaron Bain really played well. He was very hard to beat, um, very dominant inside. What did you think about his performance? Yeah, great. Like 26 minutes, he has 13 points. Couple of boards, like just his his presence in the pick and roll, like his ability to get up and hard show and disrupt and talk and the activity and just his sheer size in the paint, like creates driving lanes for Sobs and TJ to get on the rim. You know, he's got two guys hanging off him the the whole game. Like it's it's a war for him down there, and he just keeps battling through it. Like he's a big target and a big presence, and like really like what he's been bringing to the group um, these last probably 10, 12 games um, since he's felt healthy as well. And Cody Statman, he's a guy who grew up in Cairns as well. Mm. And look, he was, uh, I don't want to say rewarded, but there were good minutes for him tonight. How did you feel he went in those minutes? Yeah, Cody, Cody was good. Um, you know, he's, he's a rookie and he keeps learning the ways of the league and how good the league is and how you need to be locked into every single possession. And, um, you know, I thought he was positive for us tonight. You know, the, the 16 minutes, he, he played with aggressiveness. I thought he was a little bit passive uh, the other night against New Zealand, but he watched the film with him and show him the spots where he can get better. And, and he responds like he's a high, high IQ guy and he, he understands the game of basketball. And I think like his size, length, ability to shoot the ball, like he's got a bright future in the league uh, if, if he wants it. Like that's the thing for Cody is um, what does the day to day look like and, and getting in the grind and, and really being um, you know, committed to your craft. And I think it's been a good learning curve for him this year. Obviously the four year career at Virginia was great for him and now being a pro it's it's another level up. Um, but over the year over the course of the season he's shown growth and we we start to see the product of that at the back end of the year. I'll start with you, Tyler. What did you make of that game out there tonight? It, it looked like it was a, it was just going to take somebody else to step up to break the game open because you and Soaps were going so well for, for you guys and then you know they had three guys going well and, and they had a couple of guys step up with Scott and Deng in the fourth quarter. What, what did you see was the, the difference in, in, the, in the finish? I mean, there was, there was just a couple breakdowns towards, towards the end of the game. I mean, there's always things throughout a game um, that you can point to, but I thought there was a, a few times where we just had a deflection or we had a rebound, and, you know, Scott hit that big three off of – we could have had a steal going the other way. That's a big turnaround. Um, you know, there were just little plays throughout the game, especially down the stretch, that I think they capitalized on, and that's what good teams do. You, when, when you have a team you know, on the ropes, you can't make mistakes, especially a good one. Uh, otherwise, they're going to capitalize, and that's why they are where they are on the ladder. We've talked a couple of times now about your growth throughout the season and how you've been able to, to, to figure out how, how to be effective playing in the NBL. Does it, does it feel like the season's finishing a bit early for you? Would you you like to be to, to be able to keep playing because you're in such good form right now? Absolutely, but I mean, the thing is, is the same thing with bangers. Like when you sit out and you're gone and you haven't played for a long time, it takes a, it takes a little bit. I mean, when you're we're, we've played in the league for you know eight plus years a piece, usually this is the 
first third of the season. You know what I mean? So, like, you kind of play your way into form, and we've been fortunate to have games uh, where we're not taking week-long breaks in between. And so you can only this, you can get better by playing. So um, I've benefited off of that. I know Bainsey's benefited. I know the guys have kind of benefited off it. We dropped one in New Zealand. But leading up to this point, we've been playing good basketball just because we've been playing and playing and playing, you know, not having to play, take a week off, play, take, you know, a week and a half off. You know, it's, it's good to be out there and, and actually learn by playing. We've also talked about your growth in learning to be a leader and how to, how to be a leader on this group as well. Um, I guess from my point of view, it would be a shame if we didn't see you in the NBL beyond this season. And obviously, there's a lot of water to go into the bridge, but would you be open to, to continuing to play in the NBL beyond this season? You know, I really like it here. Um, you know, I, I, it depends on what this, this team looks like coming back. Um, but I've, I've really enjoyed my time here. Obviously, um, you know, there's been some ups and downs, but when you see the way that everybody's come together, especially towards the end here, it's given me a lot of optimism. And um, it's definitely changed my perspective. Um, you know, it's being around these guys for, you know, a long period of time. You know, when you, I spend more time with these guys than I, I have my family. So if, if from that perspective, I'm absolutely open to anything. You know, it's going to depend on how the offseason looks, but I'm, I'm more than open to um, looking, you know, coming back. What does your immediate future look like? Would you look to pick up a contract somewhere else overseas? Will you just go back home and chill out with the family a little bit and enjoy some, some time off? Or what are your, what are your immediate, immediate future? You know, future plans once uh, we're listening to a few, you know a few a few teams, but um, for the most part, I'd like to keep playing. You know, because again, sitting out all last year, it just it's it's hard to become a better basketball player when you're not playing games. So, um, you know, from that perspective, I'd like I'd like to keep playing, and then you know, beyond that, um, you know, I'm going to be in talks with Andy, I'm be in talks with Sam, I'm gonna be in talks with um, you know our owners, and you know, see what we can get done. Greg, there's a lot that would have to still happen, and obviously with this this club moving forward, firstly working out who's going to coach and everything else. So it's silly to ask if, if there's a good chance of Tyler coming back or not. But in terms of the overall picture, is he the sort of player that we need to try to entice to have a long future in the NBA? Is he the ideal sort of player that we would love to see here for a long time? Yeah, like in short, yes. Like the thing about Tyler is. I can't speak highly of enough. Before you even talk about the basketball, is him as a human being, like one of the best, if not the best, imports that I've ever been around as a person. Take the hoops out of it, just a, a human being. Um, he's the ultimate team guy. He cares for everybody in the locker room. He does things for guys off the floor. Like that is the type of human that we want in our organization. Like before you even talk about the basketball, there's that side of it. And from the basketball perspective, like you look at what he's done over the last six weeks and, and like he had, what did you play, six games last year? Yeah. So yeah. Like two, games. 10 days, I think. Um, you know, it's a long time to go without playing regular games. And now he's in a rhythm and feels good. And he's found his way with the group and the league and the adjustment to FIBA basketball. Like. He's a really, really good basketball player and an even better human. So, yes, is the short and long answer that we, we need to keep guys like Tyler in the NBL and, and showcase who he is as a basketball player and, and as a person. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Imagine if you played good in first half so we didn't have to keep talking. I did play good in this first half. Yeah, you did. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. I mean, I think that's what stood out to me as well about Tyler as well every time we've spoken. Um, now, it's been a hell of a season, Barry. I mean, you've got a week to go now, one, one game to go. You never thought you'd be sitting here at the start of the season, but it's, it's the way it, it's turned out. But now that you've got this one week and one game to go, how do you approach it and what do you, what do you try to get out of it? Yeah, look, it's the same as any other preparation. Like That's been kind of one of my things. When I stepped in the role, a few people said, like, set your own goals and make sure you achieve those goals. And one of those was to approach every game and every practice and every opportunity that we have the same way, like review the same way, we prepare the same way um, to be a professional basketball team. So this week doesn't change that at all. We prepare to play the New Zealand Breakers next Saturday, who are a playoff bound team. And we have one more opportunity to showcase to our fans and our members and our support base, our staff and each other, what we're about. Um, and that's an exciting opportunity and we're, we're gonna recover, 
the, the right way. We're going to prepare the right way, and we're going to we're going to put on a good performance against New Zealand next Saturday night.